ஃபிப்ரவரி டூ தௌசண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் இன்டர் டிக்டேஷன் ரெடி ஸ்டார்ட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் இட் கிவ்ஸ் மீ கிரேட் ப்ளஸர் டு பி இன் யுவர் மிட்ஸ் டூரிங் த இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டே செலப்ரேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் டு சே எ ஃபியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் நேச்சுரல் ஃபார் பீப்புள் in all parts of the country to celebrate this historic event on this day every year with jubilation we should on this occasion pay our homage and express our gratitude to the millions of men and women who took part in the freedom movement under the inspiring leadership of the father of the nation i would like to tell you that though freedom is our birth right we should not at the same time forget our duties and responsibilities to the nation we of the present generation are enjoying the benefits of freedom secured after great sacrifices made by those who fought for it therefore it is our duty to carefully preserve the hard won freedom in the interest of the future generation we have a democratic setup with legislative assemblies in the states and the parliament at the center with representatives elected by the people there is no doubt that the governments both at the center and in the states have implemented a number of schemes under the five year plans to increase the wealth of the nation and to improve the standard of living of the people for instance large extents of land have been provided irrigation facilities by constructing a number of dams across the rivers in different parts of the country and we have become self sufficient in the matter of food production similarly a number of industries have come up providing employment opportunities to a large number of people while we can be proud of our achievements during the last 50 years i am sorry to say that we are still considered as a developing nation therefore this is an occasion for us to find out the problems facing us and try to solve them my own feeling is that we have not fully utilized the natural resources as well as the human resources for instance while in some areas large quantities of water is allowed to go waste into the sea there or some other areas where there is scarcity of water not only for irrigation but also for drinking purposes even in the matter of education there are still a large number of boys and girls who are not receiving even elementary education if we pay some attention to such matters i am sure we can make tremendous progress in the years to come finally i would say that while political freedom is important it is equally necessary that our people should be free from poverty and ignorance it is only when everyone is enabled to earn enough to provide 
himself with the basic necessities of life such as food clothing and shelter it can be said that we have real freedom therefore we should forget our differences and work together for the progress of the nation with these words i conclude my speech letter from bharat and company limited bombay to mrs rahim and sons e road dear sas we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th instant in response to our advertisement in the newspapers we are glad that you are interested in representing us in your area as an agent for selling our products we enclose here with a copy of the illustrated catalog and the price list of the spare parts for different makes of automobiles manufactured by us we hope you will find that our rates are reasonable when compared to those of others we wish to inform you in this connection that our goods are produced under the direct supervision of highly qualified engineers in our factory which is equipped with the latest machinery and therefore there will be great demand for them we also enclose here with the terms and conditions of agency and trust that you will find them attractive we have instructed our representative who is now on tour in your area to meet you in person in the next few days and have a detailed discussion on this matter we hope we will able to finalize the agreement to our mutual satisfaction yours faithfully